Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I used ChatGPT to solve a problem I was having in Google Sheets. I had a to-do list and wanted to add a drop-down menu with default values to it, and ChatGPT helped me figure it out. So, if you're struggling with the same issue, keep watching. This video will also be inspiring for anyone who is trying to figure out how to do something in Google Sheets, but don't know. It will encourage you to use ChatGPT to find a solution in seconds. First of all, let's talk about ChatGPT. It's an AI-based chatbot that uses natural language processing to understand and respond to our questions. We can use it for various tasks, including problem solving, creative writing, and even just casual conversations. Today, we're going to use ChatGPT to create a drop-down menu with default values in Google Sheets. So, let's get started. First, we need to ask ChatGPT what we want to do. I have prompted that I have a list of to-do in Google Sheets, and would like to have a drop-down menu for status for each item with two options OK and not OK. How can I do that? It is to be done item based at each row separately. I also want the color of cell to be changed to green if OK is selected and red if not OK is selected. ChatGPT instructed me to select the cells where we want to add the drop-down menu. Then, we click on the data menu in the top navigation and select data validation. In the data validation window, we can choose list of items or list from a range for our drop-down menu. In this case, we'll choose list of items and enter OK, not OK in the list of items field. This will create a drop-down menu with two options, OK and not OK. But wait, there's more. We also want the cell color to change automatically based on the selected status. For example, if the user selects OK, the cell color should turn green, and if the user selects not OK, the cell color should turn red. We can use conditional formatting to achieve this. We select the cells where we want to apply conditional formatting, click on the format menu, and select conditional formatting. In the conditional formatting window, we select, custom formula is, and enter the formula equals A1 equals OK. Replace A1 with the first cell at the selected range. In our case, it is C2. We then choose the color green and click on the Done button. We repeat the same steps for the Not OK status, but choose a different background color, for example red. And that's it. We have successfully created a drop-down menu with default values and changed the cell color based on the selected status. And we did it all with the help of ChatGPT. I hope you found this video helpful and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning into our ChatGPT channel, where we explore the many different applications of this powerful chatbot. Don't forget to subscribe for our channel to stay up to date on our latest videos and tutorials, and to leave us a comment if you have any feedback or suggestions for future videos.